welcome to Disney World. I wanted to show you guys something while I was here. These are some hooks I made a couple weeks back for my brother. Uh, and before I shipped them out, I wanted to show you guys what they look like and how I made them. To make sure the hooks are really sturdy, I started by using 3 16th inch steel. I cut the steel to 6.5 inches long using my dad's metal cutting bandsaw. I used my dad's shop for this project because honestly I didn't have the tools at home. The metal was way too thick for my bending break. I marked the metal at a half inch and then went one inch further down and marked it again. The half inch mark would serve as a guide for making the first of the bends. This bend would be made to 45 degrees. After heating the metal, I simply bashed it into shape with a hammer. I did have a little issue getting the bends real sharp. So to fix that, I used a punch. If you're gonna be bending metal in a vise like this, I would recommend having a vise with very smooth draws. This vise did not, and it did leave marks on the finished hooks. The second bend was easier than the first because you simply had to heat it up and then bash it until it went down flat against the vise at 90 degrees. I know there are much better ways of bending metal than hitting it with a hammer and a vise. Ideally, I would have another bending break, but I haven't built that yet, so this is really my only way of doing it. The final bend will be made two inches from the opposite end of the coat hook. And just like the first bend, this bend is made to 45 degrees. And that was the first coat hook, but my brother wanted five. So I basically had to repeat this process four more times. I was tempted to try two at once and that sort of worked, but in the end, I settled on just doing every coat hook by itself. I was actually pleasantly surprised that after making five individual coat hooks, they all came out very, very similar. I decided I would round off the edges and shine the hooks up for my brother. I also added two holes to each hook for mounting. So that's how I made these coat hooks. I'm gonna send them to my brother, Peter. If you wanna see what he does with those final installation, you can check that out at his Instagram. I'll link it here on the screen. As always, please subscribe, like this video, comment for sure down below. What did I do right? How would you do this differently? So on and so forth. And I will see you guys in the next video. That's it.